Court McGinley. Welcome back to our edition of Top 10 Lists. On today's list, we have the top 10 surprising facts about Earth. But before we get into all of that, I want to know what is your guys' favorite fact about our planet Earth? Let me know down below. All right, guys, let's get this list started. And at our number 10 spot, we have the fact that the Earth used to be the color purple. So scientists are saying that during the early days, like millions and millions of years ago, all of the parts that are currently green used to be the color purple. As we know in today's day and age, plants use a green pigment called chlorophyll to harness the sun's rays, which gives them a green appearance. But scientists are saying that back then, ancient microbes might have used molecules other than chlorophyll to harness the sun's rays, one that gave organisms a violent hue. So it is speculated that life forms of early Earth were retinal based rather than chlorophyll based, making all photosynthesizing plants on Earth bright purple. So counting our way into the number 9 spot, a year actually isn't 365 days long. There's actually 365.2564 days in a year. Surprisingly, that .2564 actually makes a huge difference. This is in fact what created the need for a leap year once every four years. Unless the year is divisible by 100, so for example, 1900 or 2100. Unless that is divisible by 400, so 16,000 or 2000. That's a lot of math involved in that fact. So getting into her number eight spot, we have the fact that Earth's molten iron core creates a magnetic field. So basically the Earth is pretty much a giant magnet. And its magnetic field extends thousands of kilometers out from the surface of the Earth. This forms a region called a magnetosphere. Scientists believe that this magnetic field is generated by the molten outer core of the Earth, where heat creates convection motions of conducting materials. And this generates electric currents that create the magnetic field. And at number seven, we have the fact that Earth is mostly made up of iron, oxygen, and silicon. So if we were actually able to separate the Earth into different piles of material, we would have four separate piles. One would consist of 32.1% iron, the next one would be 30.1% oxygen, then 15.1% silicone, and finally 13.9% magnesium. But as we know, most of this 32.1% of iron is found down at the Earth's core. But if we were actually able to get down to the core, it would be 88% iron. And if we were able to get a sample of the Earth's crust, it would be 47% oxygen. So coming in at our number six spot, did you guys know that Earth is the only planet not named after a god? All of the other seven planets in our solar systems are named after Roman gods or goddesses. However, only Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn were visible to the naked eye, so they were all named during the ancient times. And the Roman method of naming planets was retained after the discovery of Uranus and Neptune. So the reason Earth wasn't named after God is because, funny enough, people didn't even consider Earth a planet. Planets were viewed as these distant stars in the sky to how gods would most likely look down over humans. For people back then, Earth was more of a setting and a ground. But of course, later on, it was realized that we are standing on a planet as well. And by that time, we already called it Earth, so it just kind of stuck. Moving in at our number five spot, Earth's rotation is slowing down. Our planet's rotational momentum over time gets gradually transferred to the moon as orbital momentum. As a result, the moon is drifting about four centimeters further from the Earth each year. And this is causing our days and months gradually to grow longer over time. Every few years, we need to add in an extra second to make up for this lost time. It is believed that millions of years ago, a day on Earth was only 20 hours long, and that a few million years from now, a day on Earth will be 27 hours long. Well, you can always use more hours in the day, right? So that sounds good to me. Even though I'll probably be dead for a couple million years at this point once this finally does happen. In our number four spot, can you guys believe that gravity is not distributed equally? Yeah, that's actually pretty crazy when you think about that. I mean, how is that even possible? Well, in places such as Hudson Bay in Canada, there's actually less gravity than in other regions of the globe. The reason for this is the fact that there is less land mass in that section of the planet due to the retreating glaciers on the surface and swirling magma deep in the core. That's pretty crazy. So technically in some places you're lighter, some places you're heavier. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so moving on to our number three spot. As crazy as this sounds, the earth used to be covered in giant mushrooms. I kid you not, this was actually a thing. Imagine if the world was still like that. People would never go hungry again, except my fiance and my brother and my best friend because they all hate mushrooms. So if the world in fact was still like that, I would be pretty lonely because everyone I love would be dying off. But anyways, back to the giant mushrooms. Scientists believe that certain fossils found in Canada in 1859 are evidence that Prototaxitus, aka the giant mushrooms, covered the earth long before trees and other plants did. Scientists are thinking that around 420 to 350 million years ago, there were huge fungi that grew to an astonishing height of 24 feet. Guys, that's insane, a 24 foot mushroom. And back then, any newly evolving trees were only three feet tall. So these mushrooms, they were pretty much towering over them. In at the number two spot, 
spot we have the mid ocean ridge system. And this is actually one of the most fascinating things on all of planet Earth. It's a single mountain range that stretches around the entire globe. This is the most extensive range of mountains on Earth and it is made up of underwater volcanoes and spans all throughout the Earth's oceans. And more than 90% of it lies in the deep ocean. These volcanoes wrapped around the globe for more than 35,000 kilometers and it's super thin. For example, pretend the Earth is the size of a basketball. The mid ocean ridge system would be the skinny seam on that basketball. Although it is mostly under sea, it does rise above sea levels in Iceland. And in fact, mid ocean ridges are actually really important because they kind of create a boundary where new ocean floor is created. Another handy fact of knowledge is that since the mid ocean ridge is more than 2,000 meters deep, most of its eruptions go unnoticed. All right guys, so let's recap. We've talked about Earth's rotation, mountains, what our planet is made of, how Earth got its name, how the planet used to be purple, gravity, and super cool giant mushrooms. But this next fact, it's definitely the most interesting one of them all. Coming in our number one spot, did you guys know that oceans are over 95% unexplored? The ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface, and out of that, 95% of it still remains a mystery. But basically over half the Earth is still unexplored. And that shouldn't be too much of a shock because oceans are deep. I'm talking like really, really deep. The Earth's deepest known point is equal to 24.5 Empire State Buildings end to end. And as of now, we've identified 212,906 marine species. But there is still a possible 25 million more out there that we don't know about. Well, there you guys have it, our top 10 list about surprising facts about Earth. Let me know down in the comments if there's any facts I might have missed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, let me know down in the comments what top 10 list you'd like me to do next. I need some really good ideas, so let me know what you guys would be interested in watching. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family for more top 10 lists, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.